nabighan ni si Peter sa ganda ni Christine na naitambal sa kanya sa isang blind date. Nakipag-isang dibdib si Peter kay Christine pagkatapos ng anin na taong panliligaw. Naging masaya ang mga unang taon sa bagong kasal. Subalit, hindi pa rin matalikuran ni Peter ang asta ng buhay binata habang tumatagal ang kanilang pagsasama. I was involved in a business where I did a lot of entertaining. We bring our clients to the clubs, lahat, lahat po ang clubs ng Roas Boulevard. Pag naubos ka na yung Roas Boulevard, pupunta pa ako sa Quezon City. Ah, Non-stop yan, yung, yung tawag nila sa akin all night long. Isang international flight stewardess si Christine. Kaya naman sa mga panahong wala ito sa kanilang bahay, si Peter. Kung wala siya, wala kang guard, walang nagkwe-question sa'yo. So ako naman, sige lang na sige. But it got worse when she quit her job. I asked her to quit and she stayed at home. Doon lang niya nalaman, ganun pala to. Hindi siya umuwi ng maaga. Umuwi siya, umaga na. She said, is this going to happen three, four times every week? I don't understand. You have clients that you need to bring out this often and you come home at three, four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing, you know? What do you talk about? Sabi ko, Christine, di naman ako alcoholic ka. Katulad niyan. Or yung iba, hindi na umuwi, ako umuwi. Yung iba, they don't, they don't even have a decent job. They don't provide for their wife and their family. Ako, I'm a good provider. De, mabait akong husband. Di naman ako kriminal. Other husbands beat up their wives. I don't beat you up. But leave me alone with my schedule. Bagamat ayaw magpaawat ni Peter sa kanyang pag-good time, nasumpungan naman ni Christine ang seguridad na hindi niya natagpuan sa asawa. Amoy akong club, lasing, and then pati yung, pati yung perfume ng mga ibang chicks na naamoy niya, talagang nagagalit talaga siya. Non-stop yung bibig niya. When she gave her life to the Lord, then I saw the change. Sabi ko, umiba na to. Hindi na siya nagagalit. Para bang, uh, there was a peace in her. Yun ang nag-attract sa akin. Anong klaseng change ito? Nasagot ang mga tanong na iyon ni Peter. Nang pagbigyan niya si Christine, nasamahan ito sa simbahan sa kanyang birthday. Pagpasok ko sa church, sabi ko, kakaibang church ito. I see all these guys greeting one another, hugging one another. Hindi ako sanay dito. Ah. Ano ba ito? Puro homosexuals ba ito? Sabi ko, but, but may joy sa mukha nila na hindi ko maintindihan. And then as I sat on and listened to the message, and, and the pastor said, Why do men? love to do their deeds in darkness. Sabi ko, naku, eh, madilim yung club, di ba? Pa- paano ito nalaman ng story ko? So, nung nagpipreach siya, napapa- ganun ako sa seat, no? nagsishrink at nagsishrink na ako, sabi ko, oh my! That was the time I felt I really knew for the first time in my life that I needed a savior. I wouldn't want my kids to see me inside the club with other women. I realized I, I was ashamed of what I was doing. And, and that brought me to coming to the Lord in repentance. And I said, gusto ko na magbagong buhay. After I received the Lord and, and uh, the service ended that day, I, I, I had a joy, I had a lightness in my spirit and in my being which I could not explain. That whole week, uh, I didn't go to the club. That whole week, I didn't think of doing anything crazy. I went home early and I enjoyed my time with the kids and with Christine. Saturday night came and Christine wasn't saying anything about going to church the next day. So I asked her, are, are we going to church again tomorrow? She said, yeah. Why? You want to come? I said, yeah. Why? Well, what's wrong? Can't I come? She said, no, of course you can come. My spirit began to thirst for the Lord. Nais ni Peter na maging kumpleto ang kanyang pagbabago. Kaya patuloy siyang kumapit sa Diyos upang malagpasan ang iba pa niyang kahinaan. Bakit pa ako naninigarilyo? Bakit pa ako umiinom? Meron bang kabutihan to para sa katawan ko? Sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, please lang, just remove the urge. Tanggalin mo lang yung desire for smoking. And the very next day, after a full breakfast and coffee, you normally look for the cigarette. But wala nang desire. It was taken away by the Lord. I experienced my first miracle. Nasabihin ng mga friends ko, oh, hindi, ayaw mo na ng, ng beer, ayaw mo na mag rum coke. Oh, bakit? Parang umiba ka na. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko lang ano. Hindi ko lang type yan ngayon, sabi ko. They no longer ask me because they know my life. You know? They know the change that has taken place inside of me and outside. Dahil sa bago niyang buhay, 
nagiging mabuting impluensya at ehemplo ng katuwiran si Peter sa kanyang pamilya. Nakakagaan ng loob. Because of his insight, I was able to weigh things. My dad already told me this. So if I still do it, parang I'm just committing the same mistake. He gave, he helped people. Our whole family was trained that way. That us kids, that's what we've seen from him, from our parents. Wala yan. Sabi niya, during time, ganyan lang, ganyan lang yung ginagawa niyo kumpara sa ginagawa ko dati. He would show his pinky, you, you, you guys. He said, wow, what, what else did this guy do? It's hard to believe. And to see him now, that's it, the, uh, the, the extreme, you know, the contrast. That's why, you know, it's only by God's grace. You know, when he says, Tim, I'm very proud of you. Tim, I love you so much. You know, every time I hear that, it's just like fuel. You know, it just pushes me. You know, to do better, to do even, you know, to do so much better than what I used to do. Aming binalikan ang interview ni Connie sa kanya. He says, it's so beautiful to be married to the right person and to be the right person. I always tell Peter, he's a beautiful man. Mabait siya inside and out. Kaya talagang lubos talaga ako nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon na binigay niya sa akin si Peter. Siya isang handog mula sa Panginoon. Ang pag-aasawa ay isang pagpapahayag ng pagmamahalan sa pagitan ng lalaki at babae. Ngunit ang katatagan nito ay hindi nasusukat sa yaman at luho. Bagkos sa isang pagsasama na ang sentro ay si Kristo. Sa kasalukuyan, iginugugol ni Peter ang oras at panahon sa pagsisilbi sa Diyos bilang host ng 700 Club Asia. Aktibo din siya sa kanilang simbahan bilang isang elder at preacher. The Bible says, the two shall become one flesh. Then you honor your wife every day. You make her, after God, the most important person in your life. If you put her interest before your own and put her first and treasure her, then you will know that marriage is truly beautiful. Wow, Peter. Laking pasasalamat siguro ni Christine na tinanggap mo si Jesus sa puso mo, ano? Tama, Iko. Oh, but... What would happen kaya if you didn't accept Christ in your heart? What would have happened? What would have happened? Uh, maybe just three things. One is, she's already a widow. Kasi I'll be so drunk, ma-accidente ako, I'll, I'll just kill myself. Two is, she'll be visiting me in the rehab. Totoo yan, talaga. And the third possibility is we split up. Yeah. Kasi iba yung priorities ko. Ang, ang priorities ko, ikaw nung araw, iba eh. I would always compare myself to someone less than me. Mm -hmm. I'll say to her, oh, be thankful, umuwi pa ako. Mm -hmm. Tignan mo yan, di na yan umuwi. Oh, inaabandon niya yung asawa niya. Ako, mabait akong asawa. Oh, ako, nagpo-provide ako para sa'yo. I'm not irresponsible. Pero, pabayaan mo, na ako, pabayaan mo naman ako sa schedule ko. In other words, give me my freedom. So why did I, why did you get married in the first place? Mm -hmm. But when you get to know that the true meaning of a one flesh team, na talagang the Lord made you one, then you really understand the command of the Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians where he says, Husbands, love your wife. Because when, when your wife is so secured in the love she gets from you, mm -hmm. she will automatically submit and respect you. So you would consider yourself very selfish at that point? Oh, super selfish. Minsan kasi yung hirap admitin nun na selfish ka. If you knew me before, my real color, yeah. meaning to say, when I would pick you up and bring you to school, <laughs> huh? Eh, siguro hindi ka sasakay sa kotse ko. They'll say, mm -hmm. I don't want to ride this sinner's car. Wow. I was a terrible husband. I was an unfaithful husband. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that the Lord caught me on time. Right, yeah. If not, I would have been, binabarbecue na ako ni Taning talaga. Grabe, no? Oh. Tapos nung sumasakay ako sa inyo, sa kotse nyo, I was going through something too. And no, nobody knew. You see how, how, how amazing God is? You didn't know that I was that bad a husband? And I didn't know what was happening in your life. Yeah. We were just together, happy, going to, right. you know, take you to school. You know? Hiding, you know, parang yeah. we weren't really admitting what was yeah. going on in our lives. But yeah. look, sabi nga, my sister would always tell me, but look at you now, by the grace of God. By the grace of by God. The grace. Sinabi Only by the grace of God. Diba, you, I'm, I'm guessing that you would come from a very religious family. Do you speak yung Yeah, mo? but that... That will not even bring you closer to God. You have a semblance of religiosity, mm -hmm. or you have a semblance of holiness, 
hindi mo hindi yes. ka naman sumus sumusunod sa salita ng yeah. Diyos, di ba? Actually, you can be you can also be Christian mm -hmm. and still hide behind the mask. Yes, tama. So at the end of the day, it's really when you recognize and when you accept and when you humble yourself before the Lord, that's when he can do something in your life. Tama. When you say, Lord, hindi ko na kaya, yeah. ikaw na. That's Here are the keys you take the 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 mm. the, the wheel yeah. of my life. Ay, yung analogy rin ng broken toy, di ba? Oh. I mean, un until you release that broken toy, that's the only time that God can fix it. Tama. That's like Tama. in our lives. You know, that's why Peter and I are here. That's why there's a 700 Club Asia para sabihin sa, inyo, sa inyong lahat na may pag-asa, may bagong panimula. At kahit sino pa kayo, kahit ano pa ang pinagdadaanan ninyo, 